Okay, good morning everyone. So I'll be reporting the Weschler Memory Scale. So the Weschler's Memory Scale, uh, the report consists of four parts. One is administration and its importance, history and development, tapos Weschler Memory Scale four components. So ito yung pinaka latest na Weschler Memory Scale. Then in the end, we have the table of summary for the time frame, the norms, and the factor analysis. So let us begin. What is the uh, importance in the administration procedures of a Weschler memory scale. So, um, Weschler memory scale I individually administered. Then, it has a composite batteries which is designed to understand components of a patient's memory. So, the focus is on patient memory. And, pag sinabi natin composite batteries, uh, first, pag sinabi composite, ito ay uh, pinagsama-samang subsets ng questions. Tapos, yung total scores niya ay uh, sinasummarize into one uh, data. Tapos pag sinabi natin batteries, ito ay um, collection ng maraming tests. So, okay. It provides a full range of memory functioning. Then, it is known as a core component of any thorough cognitive assessment. So, uh, Weschler Memory Scale ay ginagamit and most of the time, it's one of the most uh, popular uh, use kasama ang Weschler uh, Adult Intelligence Scale and the Children's Scale. Okay, so bago tayo mag-start, uh, we have the, the different components of a memory. Uh, the question is, bakit kailangan natin malamin ang uh, memory? Uh, ano ang relevance niya or importance na pagdating sa ating assessment o kaya ay sa diagnosis? In the uh, idea sa uh, ni Reschler, ang memory ay associated with the following. Pwede natin siyang um, gamitin in terms of uh, diagnosing depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, tapos may organic damages like head injuries. Pwede din natin magamit ang memory in uh, predicting the stroke uh, and determining kung may learning disabilities. Then, pwede natin din gamitin ang memory if meron tayong neurotoxic exposure. Okay, so components of a memory. So, may iba't ibang models ang memory Pero ang ginamit natin is this. It's the multi-level uh, uh, multi uh, uh, multi level uh, graph of a memory. So pagdating, meron tayong human memory which composed of this sensory memory. Ito yung uh, pinaka uh, short span of memory. Then the short-term memory, the working memory. And we have the long-term memory. Uh, in the long-term memory, meron tayong explicit memory and implicit memory. Pag sinabing explicit memory, ito yung conscious memory natin. Ito yung uh, ginagamit natin sa pang-araw-araw. Then, yung implicit memory naman, ito yung mga skills and abilities na natutunan natin and unconsciously natin nagagamit. So, pasapan muna natin yung explicit memory. Meron tayong declarative memory which is divided into episodic memory and semantic memory. Ang episodic memory, ito yung mga events na nangyari sa'yo na if you have the certain stimulus, madali mo maalala. For example, is iced tea. Alam mo na ang iced tea ay uh, pwedeng uh, nes, nes, nesle o kaya ay pag-juice, malalaman mo na ito kagad ay tang. Pag sinabi naman semantic memory, ito naman yung mga concepts at facts. For example, is uh, alam mo na merong 365 days sa isang year at alam mo na merong sun and moon. So, yun ay semantic memory. So, going on, sa implicit memory naman, ito yung unconscious na uh, memory natin. So, ano yung procedural memory? For example, uh, pag natututo kang, per, nung bata tayo, we are crawling, then natut natutunan natin maglakad, up until now, uh, hindi natin nakakalimutan kung paano maglakad at paano magbalance. Same concept din sa pagsakay sa bike or sa motorcycle. Sa una, um, sa una is dinedevelop mo yung memory kung paano magbalance, kung paano magpedal, kung paano magshift ng clutch. Pero pagdating ng um, uh, in the long span, hindi mo na siya kinoconsider kung naging instinctual or uh, automatic reflexes na siya. So that is procedural memory. Okay. So sa history and development, meron tayong lima na pinagdaanan ang Weschler Memory Scale. So, may 1970, merong Memory Scale 1, then yung revised version, then the Memory Scale 3, and the Memory uh, Scale 4. Uh, pag sinabi ng AB is abbreviated. So, uh, the latest uh, Memory Scale ay na-produce ay noong 2009 or na-modified noong 2009. Okay, let's begin to 1917 scale. 
So, in history development, ang 1970s scale ay published paper ni Weschler. Ito yung kanyang master's thesis. So, ang kanyang focus ay five patients with Korsakoff psychosis. So, going back, pag sinabing uh, Korsakoff psychosis, ito yung mga patients na nagkaroon ng it's either uh, alcohol misabuse or misuse na nagkakaroon sila ng confabulation and memory loss. May times na yung mga patients na yun ay nagsasilta pero hindi nila maalala yung pinag-usapan nila. Okay. So, he created a memory scale to assess defective retention. So, uh, Weschler defined retention as the ability to reproduce new impressions after a given interval of time. So, dun siya nag-focus. Um, hindi pa prevalent yung or hindi pa niya well defined ang retention at yung memory. So the first in the 1970s scale, ang focus niya is retention rather than memory. Okay, the scales includes auditory memory spans for digit, unrelated words, and visual memory span for movement. Meron ding method of retained members, formation of preform association, new association, new association, and digit series. Okay. Yung auditory memory span for digits, ang uh, pattern lang doon is magsasilta yung uh, administrator nung uh, scale, tapos i-repeat lang nung examinee or nung client or pwede rin yung patient na nag-undergo dun sa scale. Yung unrelated words, same lang din, magsasabi ng uh, uh, group of words yung nag-administrator uh, administrator ng exam, then i-repeat lang din nung patient or nung client or whatsoever. Doon, naman sa visual memory span, meron namang series of uh, words, meron din series of digits, tapos i-magpapakita lang doon sa uh, examinee, tapos gagayahin niya, i-repeat niya. Then, meron din tayo method of retained members. So, pag sinabing retained members, ito naman yung uh, different numbers and different uh, words na meron silang uh, connection or meron silang uh, significance. For example, is red. Tapos may red house and may red house, pati may red house ng isang aso, red house dog. So may gano'n, meron siyang connection. Then meron tayong perform associates. Pag sinabi natin perform uh, associates, ito naman ay mga pair of words. Let's say is sun, moon, uh, dog, cat. Yun ay uh, perform associates. Uh, yun ay i-repeat ng uh, examinee, then itatanong ng examiner na meron siyang mga uh, fill in the blanks. For example, is dog. Sabihin, nung, uh, sabihin muna ng examiner, dog, cat. Tapos uh, iulitin ng uh, examinee, dog, cat. Tapos next is sasabihin lang nung, ano, nung examiner is dog. Tapos i-sabihin uh, ng examiner is dog, cat. So, ganun siya. Pag new associates naman, ito yung mga words na wala siyang connection na babanggitin ng isang examiner. Tapos ulitin lang, i-repeat lang ng isang examinee. Then the last one is the digit series. So, memoryahin lang niya yung uh, digit. Tapos, i-repeat niya or sasabihin niya pabalik dun sa uh, examiner. So, uh, the main problem of the 1970s scale, kasi uh, this, is the first, uh, uh, this is the first memory scale na produce ni Weschler, yung procedures na ay not clearly stated. So, nagkaroon sila ng problem dun. But, with the context of the 1917 scale, do nagsimula yung process of the development of the Weschler memory scale. So the first memory scale, so uh, Weschler memory scale one is introdu introduced 30 years after the 1970 scale. So nagkaroon ng intensive research si Weschler at naproduce niya yung memory scale. So from retention, nagfocus na siya dun sa tinatawag nating memory. Okay, so the WMS one, it has a manual consisting of nine pages. So the, the test or the scale was produced in World War II and intended for soldiers and sailors with head injury. Okay. Uh, compared dun sa uh, 1917 scale, dinagdagan na niya na tinatawag nating uh, screening questions. So yung screening, yung screening question, ito ay yung uh, questions para ma-filter natin kung ito ba ay truly from head injury o kaya meron siya mga prior medical condition bago siya nagkaroon ng problema. So, it uh, screening questions to identify people with apasya. So, apasya ay yung apasya or apasya. Ito yung mga tao na may language impairment na hirapan silang to read and to understand yung sa pagdating sa language. Then, dementia. So, ito yung uh, 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 
uh, ito, ito yung illness na nagkakaroon siya ng memory loss. Okay? Next, it contains standard mental status exam assessing the subject's orientation to place and time. So, binaro din ni Westler yung idea ng mental status exam at nilagay niya dun sa memory scale in order to assess kung baka yung memory uh, loss or memory problems nung client niya or yung, yung, yung patient ay meron pang kasamang ibang medical condition. So, by the use of screening questions at mental status exam, matidetermine niya kung ano pa yung prevailing or ano pa yung nag exist na problema nung kanyang clients. Okay. So, ang um, Wechsler Memory Scale may seven subtests. Uh, meron siyang mental control. So, na-introduce yung mental control. Uh, ito yung sinatawag natin. It is used in order to assess the cases of organic brain disease. Pag sinabi ng organic brain disease, uh, may damage na ba talaga yung mismong physical uh, aspect ng brain niya before siya nag-test or by the by the accident or sa cause ng war, nagkaroon ng brain damage siya. So, makikita yun sa mental control. Then, ang mental control, meron siyang three items. It's counting backwards from 20 to 1. Then, counting trees beginning with 1 up to 40. Then, kasama din din yung reciting the alphabet. So, yun yung mental control. Next, sa mental control ay yung memory span natin. Memory span is a uh, subtest with repeating maximum numbers of digits limited to 8, forward, and 7 backwards. It shows problem correlate with attention and concentration difficulties. So, yun naman ang purpose ng memory span. So, i-repeat lang yung maximum numbers. For example, is um, 7, 8, 5, 4. Sabihin naman ng examiner, oh, 7, 8, 5, 4. Tapos, sa balik rin naman natin. Uh, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tapos, sabihin naman ng examiner is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ganun yung memory span. Okay, next. The... The other subtests consist of visual reproduction, which involves recall of simple geometric designs after 10 seconds of exposure, logical memory, so recalling paragraphs with meaningful materials. Then, the last one is associate learning, which pairs are recalled. So, dun sa katuloy ng binanggit natin sa 1917 scale, meron din siyang um, associate learning or yung pairs. So, the pairs contain six easy associates and four hard associates. So, Ang tanong, dun sa ating uh, Wechsler Memories uh, scale na una, kala nila is it, it's a good uh, test. Actually, nagamit naman yung test nga, pero meron siyang mga disadvantages. So, una, yung kanyang precept ay naka-focus lang siya sa short verbal memory. So, wala pa yung tinatawag nating long-term memory. So, therefore, in order to address that uh, disadvantages, nagkaroon ng revision. So, Meron tayong Wechsler Memory Scale Revised. Okay. The WMSR was designed to assess memory for verbal and figural stimuli, meaningful and abstract material, and delayed and immediate recall. Okay. Nung sa uh, WMS1, ang focus lang nila is short term. Then dito, na-introduce yung tinatawag nating long term at yung delayed uh, memory. Okay. It is also designed to measure different facets of memory. Nagkaroon na tayo ng different, yung una, the short term, ngayon nagkaroon na ng mga differences ko ano yung iba't ibang memory. Okay. It was significant improvement over the Wechsler Memory Scale 1. The directions for administration and scoring were, uh, were also improved. Okay. So according to Franzen and Iverson noong um, 2000, meron three factors na na uh, naka-focus ang memory scale revised compared dun sa web, um, WMS1. So, may learning and immediate recall of verbal and visual information. Meron din tayong attention and concentration. Then, orientation and the ability to recall information from one's personal history. Okay. So, ito yung mga subsets na, uh, subtests ng virtual memory scale revised compared dun sa uh, Wechsler Memory 1. So, meron tayong screening, meron tayong registration, so nandito pa din yung mental control, yung digital uh, digit span, tapos visual memory span. Meron tayo tayong uh, encoding. So, pag sinabi ng encoding, meron ng uh, meron na siyang uh, pen, uh, paper or pencil, meron na siyang stimulus, may pen, uh, may pen or pencil na siya, the logical memory, uh, uh, verbal paired associates, figural memory, then visual paired associates one, visual reproduction one. Then pag retention, ito yung sa verbal lang. So, may logical memory two, verbal paired associates, visual paired associates, then visual reproduction. So, yan yung uh, naging subtests ng visual memory scale revised. Okay. So, 
uh, do sa dun sa Wesley Memory Scale na revised, uh, meron din silang naging problem. Doon sa kanilang uh, problem, meron siyang problem. Ang naging problema sa Wesler Memory uh, Revised ay meron tayo tinatawag na uh, norming. Yung, sa process kasi ng norming sa isang test, uh, ang, ang pagkakakote ni Wesler is substandard. Hindi niya naabot yung tinatawag natin uh, um, minimum numbers ng isang standarding pros, uh, procedure. Then, Meron din tinatawag tayong um, na-introduce yung delayed pero hindi siya nakapag-focus mismo dun sa delayed memory or de delayed recall memory. So, in order naman to modify or para ma-met yung standards na yon dito lumabas yung Wechsler Memory Scale 3. So, na-publish siya noong 1997. So, meron siyang three factors, auditory memory, visual memory, then yung working memory. Okay, in the WMS3, various subsets are optional. The information and orientation subtests are optional including the digit span and mental control. Compared dun sa revised, lahat ng subtests dun ay kailangan. Pero in the uh, memory scale 3, nagkaroon tayo ng option or kinatawag na optional. Okay, hindi ko na. Pwede siyang, hindi mo na siya i-undergo sa tests or hindi mo na siya, um, pe, may, uh, may choice ka na hindi hindi na ipatake doon sa examine yung mga test na yun. So, it's the information narration subtest, digit span, at mental control. So, it has the abbreviated version which significantly reduced the administration time. Okay, meron siyang shortened version. Then, the manual is divided into administrative and the scoring manual. If you can remember doon sa mga nauna nating uh, 1970 scale, tapos dun sa Western Memory Scale 1, meron siyang administrative procedures, pero hindi ganun ka-concrete or ganun ka-guided yung pagka-administrate uh, uh, niya. So, in the WMS3, nagkaroon siya ng manual na dinivide nila from administrative kung paano siya i-deliver at yung scoring manual niya. So, in terms of uh, reliability niya and validity, nagkaroon siya ng increase compared dun sa mga uh, former versions niya. Then, it has a computer-based scoring system. Okay. So, dun sa WM3, uh, WMS3, meron din tayong uh, ibang advantages na uh, nakuha eh, dun sa revision. One is reduced yung time niya compared dun sa mga naunang mga a scale or memory test. Kasi meron na tayong abbreviated version at meron din tayong a long version. In relation naman, um, meron din siyang idea na kahit sobrang uh, uh, short, uh, uh, actually, uh, short, short version siya, pagdating sa mismong administration, makikita na na mas matagal pa din yung kanyang pag administer So, in case, in relation naman dun sa uh, scoring niya, mas napadali siya gawa ng, dun inintroduce yung computer-based scoring niya. Okay, so next, it's Wechsler Memory Scale 4. So, the Wechsler Memory Scale 4 was the shorter version of, uh, not actually shorter version, it was shorter than Wechsler Memory Scale 3. It is developed to decrease testing time, Reduce examine fatigue kasi nga dun sa mga former um, memory scales, sobrang haba na nagkakaroon na ng fatigue at uh, boredom yung mga nagtitake ng tests. And it has the improved psychometric functioning of the subtests in older adults. Okay, uh, ibabot update natin na yung mga nakalipas na memory scale ay meron din isang problema sa scoring at sa kanilang uh, norms sa mga population nila. But in the Wechsler Memory Scale, uh, four, na-address nila lahat yon And nagkaroon pa sila ng dalawang battery, isa sa old, uh, older adult battery at may adult battery. So, mas malawak na yung kanilang uh, age range dun sa memory scale. So, pag adult battery, may 16 to 69. Tapos, meron pang mas matanda, which is older adult battery, which is 65 to 90. Okay. The Western Memory Scale 4, uh, focuses on the components of visual mem working memory. Digit span and letter number sequencing subtest are removed. So, nagtanggal na sila ng subset, kay, uh, subtest, kaya mas umikli yung mismong uh, testing procedures at yung test mismo. 
Okay, included a brief cognitive status exam designed to identify any significant cognitive difficulties that may indicate dementia or other cognitive impairment. So, mas uh, na-filter yung mga tinatawag nating a pre-morbid or mga prevailing sickness or medical conditions before a conduct yung memory scale. So, malalaman nila kung ito ba ay a cause lang talaga ng organic or brain injury or sadyang meron na talaga siyang um, memory failure. Okay? So, it conducted three pilots. So, pag sinabi natin pilots, tingnan siya ng tatlong beses or may nagkaroon siya ng uh, testing period ng iba't ibang um, groups para makita natin kung talaga siya by reliable and valid. Then, a tryout phase before standardization. So, uh, siya ay well-developed at well-tested siya sa iba't ibang groups. Okay. So, pagdating sa reliability ng Wechsler scale, um, Wechsler memory scale 4, meron siyang internal consistency reliability. So, ginamitan natin siya, ng, uh, ginamitan siya ng split half and alpha methods. Then, meron din siyang test retest reliability sa Adult battery, mayroong 0.77 to 0.95. Tapos sa older adult battery index, mayroong siyang 0.69 to 0.88. Okay. Sa validity naman, nag-undergo siya sa content validity. So, mayroong siyang memory functioning, may comprehensive literature and expert reviews. Compared dun sa mga older version niya, nahihirapan sila sa content validity kasi wala pang well-established na literature about what is memory anong pinagkaiba niya sa retention, at ano pa ba, ba yung ibang components ng memory. So, itong uh, uh, current version, marami na siyang established literature at expert reviews compared dun sa mga older version niya. Next, may construct validity tayo. They used factor analytic studies. Then, concurrent validity. So, inano nila, inirate nila dun sa uh, Wechsler Intelligence Scale for children at for adults. So, meron siyang 0.49 to 0.68 at pagdating naman sa scale ng adult, sa Wechsler Adult Intelligence Scale 3, meron siyang 0.58 and 0 to 0 .50, uh, 0.67. Okay, so at ngayon, mag-in-depth analysis tayo sa stress structure ng Wechsler Memory Scale 4. So, meron siyang uh, 5 uh, auditory memory, which is the ability to remember orally presented. Then, information visual memory, ability to remember visually presented information. May visual memory, a uh, visual uh, working memory, which is the capacity to remember and manipulate visually presented information in short-term memory storage. Melody type immediate memory, which is the ability to remember both visually and orally presented information immediately after it is presented. Then, the delayed memory. The ability to remember both visually and orally presented information after a 20-30 minute delay. So, isa sa mga key features nan is meron tayong mga tinatawag na combination, which is visually and oral. Tapos, uh, nagkaroon din siya ng isang part which focus on delayed memory. Kasi, on the older parts, as I have said, meron tayong tinatawag na short term lang. But in the Wechsler Memory Scale 4, nandun na yung combination ng visual, oral, uh, yung tinatawag nating uh, retention, yung uh, pen, uh, pencil and paper, tas meron din tayong delayed. Okay. So, ito yung structure niya. Kauna-unahan lagi is the brief cognitive status exam. So, ang mga components nun ay orientation to time, mental control, clock drawing, incidental recall, automatically and inhibitory control, and verbal production. So, that is the first part of the test. Next is the logical memory. So, yung logic, logical memory one, meron siyang two short stories na present orally. Tapos, uh, in older adults naman, dun sa second uh, version ng kanyang test, is one story is presented twice. Kasi nga, uh, pag mas matanda, alam naman yung considerate yung handicap nila. So, the examinee is asked to retell each story from memory immediately after hearing it. So, nakasunod yun, immediately. So, uh, pagka-story, ah, hintay na ng konti, then ipaparipit niya or kung paano naintindihan ng uh, examine yung story. Next, may logical memory too. Examine is asked to retell both stories. Then, meron siya pang questionnaire na yes or no questions are asked to both of the stories. Next, 
we have the verbal paired associates. So the examiner reads 10 or 14 words pair. Then the examiner reads first word of each pair and ask examinee to provide the corresponding word. So dun sa pair, una is sasabihin is like uh, sun, moon. Tapos dun sa next uh, uh, pagkakonduct ng test, sabi niya yung sun. Tapos hintayin niya yung response ng examiner kung moon ni yung kanya i-sasabihin. So yun yung scoring niya. Next, verbal third associates to examiner provides, uh, provides first word and examiner provides corresponding word. Examining is read a, le uh, read a, le a list of word pairs and asked to identify if the word pair is uh, one they already heard or a new word pair. So ngayon naman, i-determine nila kung ito ba'y bago sa panilig nila o maaalala ba nila kung ito ba'y nabanggit na or hindi. During the optional word recall task, examinees asked to say as many of the words from the pairs as he or she can recall. So may ganun pa siyang component compared to sa last versions niya. So, meron tayong visual reproduction one. Yung visual reproduction one, so uh, a series of five designs is shown one at a time for 10 seconds each. After each design is presented, the exam is asked to draw the design from memory. So, yun yung first, ano niya. Then, the visual reproduction two. First, examinee is asked to draw designs from memory in visual reproduction one. Second, the examinee is asked to choose which of six designs on a page match the original design. Then third, and the last one is for that optional copy task, the examiner is asked to draw designs while looking at them. So marami na siyang uh, versions compared dun sa last time na uh, papakita lang, idodrawing na kagat. Ngayon, meron na tayong tinatawag na from memory. Pwede din naman copying dun sa mismong uh, presented na card. Then, meron din tayong tinatawag na from uh, dito, designs, iba't ibang designs para makita natin kung ma-determine natin to is from memory, from delayed memory, or from um, working memory lang siya o yung short term lang. Okay. So, designs one. Examiner shows examine a grid of four to eight designs on a page for 10 seconds, then removes the page for examiner view. Examine then selects the design from a set of cards and places the cards in a grid in the same place as shown. So, designs two. Examine is asked to recreate the pages shown earlier with the cards in grid. The next step is he or she is shown a series of grids and asked to select two designs that are correct the same place on the pages shown in design one. So, um, ito naman is yung different designs. So, ito yung isang example niya. So, papakita ng examiner yung, or ng administrator itong a grid na yan at yung mga uh, uh, nakalagay na design or yung tinatawag nating uh, abstract images. After nun, tatanggalin niyang grids na yan, tapos papakita ng blank grid, tapos ilalagay nung examine kung saan naka, saan grid nakalagay yung uh, abstract image at ano, anong mga images or visual representation ang dapat na andoon. Okay? So we have this spatial addition. The examiner shows examinee sequentially two grids with blue and red circles. Then, examinee is asked to add or subtract the location of the circle based on the set of rules. Okay, so um, in this one, same lang din, may grids. Tapos, meron pa siyang uh, rules from the add or uh, adding ng mga iba't ibang circles from blue and red. So, ito yung mga examples niya. So, special edition first stimulus. Then, special edition second stimulus. So, ito yon. So, makikita natin na iba't iba na yung positions ng circles at iba't iba yung colors niya. Then, meron siyang scoring um, uh, procedures at every single time na yung may scoring is makikita natin kung anong dapat tinatawag natin correct response. At dun sa scoring yung malalaman natin kung ano nga ba talaga um, um, status ng memory ng isang patient or the examinee. Okay. So, next is the symbols man. So, examine is briefly shown a series of abstract symbols on a page and then asked to select the symbols in an array of symbols. In the same order, they were represented in the previous page. So, tinina natin for papakita dun sa uh, first one is yung ano yung mga symbols lang. Then, papakita yung choices at i-determine nung examine kung alin dun yung nag exist or alin dun yung mga napakita ng symbol. So, dun sa images natin, meron tayong tinatawag na... Um, uh, triangle, tapos meron din tayo tinatawag na parang um, ice cream or popsicle. So, makikita natin the correct response is A and B. So, yan yung symbol span. So, th these are the tables for the uh, time frame ng development ng Western Memory Scale. So, makikita natin na dito yung 1917, 
yung WMS 1, R, tapos yung 3, tapos yung um, Western Memory Scale 4, abbreviated. So, nandiyan lang nakalagay yung mga different um, uh, development ng mga subtests niya. So, nung una, meron tayong questionnaire and personal, may auditory for memory span digits, unrelated words, visual memory. Then, pakikita natin, uh, yung iba't ibang auditory memory span for related and digits ay nagkaroon ng ibang pangalan, naging digit span, mental control, associate learning. So, yun yung sa WMS1. Tapos, pag hindi natin sa WMS revised, di ba sabi nga doon is, yung content ng memory is hindi pa ma-determine kung ano ba talaga ang dapat sukating sa memory. So, dumami yung subtests niya and uh, na-introduce yung tinatawag natin delayed memory. So, meron na tayong digit span, mental control, visual memory span, verbal paired associates 1, tapos dun sa uh, verbal paired associates 2. So, meron tayong tinatawag na uh, visual, meron din tayong auditory, tapos meron din tayong retention. Kung uh, pinapakita nung uh, examiner yung isang bagay or yung isang um, image, then gagayahin lang ng examiner. Then, dun sa uh, Western Memory Scale 3, so, uh, mas dumami siya, kaya nga sabi dun sa uh, disadvantage, disadvantages niya, sobrang haba. So, nagkakaroon ng fatigue yung examine, uh, examinee, pati ng boredom. So, in response sa Western Memory Scale 4, ginawa na lang nilang ganito, then, uh, yung nagtanggal sila ng digit span, tas men, uh, ng ating uh, na letter number sequencing, tas nilagyan niya ng special, uh, special edition, tas symbol span. Then, isa sa mga highlight nun is meron silang brief cognitive status exam. Okay? So, next. Ito naman yung tinatawag nating uh, norming procedures. So, nung una, sa 1917, not yung, ano niya, yung age group na ginamit niya kasi hindi masyado in-state ni Weschler. So, sub-tests sub -tests are 7. Tapos, wala ding delayed kasi hindi pa niya uh, nadetermine na meron palang delayed memory. So, meron siyang 30 uh, minutes in testing time, tas may 15 minutes na administration. Okay, so not norm. So yung uh, Weschler Memory Scale 1, so meron siyang range from 20 to 64 years old, 7 yung subtests, uh, sub pero wala din siyang delayed subtests. Yun yung naging problem niya. Pero, ang isa sa pinakamahalagang features ng WMS1 or Weschler Memory Scale 1 is 15 minutes lang siya, uh, 15 minutes lang yung buong testing niya. So napakabilis lang. Kaya naging popular siya. Pero, nagkaroon ng revision pa din. So, ang range naman ng uh, Western Memory Scale Revised is 16 to 74. May 13 subsets. 30 minutes yung delayed niya. Then, from 45 to 60 yung kanyang administration. So, 316 people yung kanyang norm. Uh, yung kanyang palang uh, a number of participants. Okay, next. Yung sa WMS3, so, from 16 to 89, nagkaroon ng 10 primary and 7 optional. Then, meron siyang 25 to 35 minutes. So, mas mahaba uh, yung delayed period niya para mas ma-determine natin kung ito talaga yung delayed memory. Then, kung titingnan natin, napakahaba niya kasi meron siyang 100 minutes for testing time. But, in, uh, in advantage, meron siyang 1,032 na uh, consensor tinatawag nating uh, a samples. Mas marami siya compared dun sa lahat ng nakalipas. Pero, meron din siyang problem. So, nagkaroon tayo ng Western Memory Scale 4. Ang naging age range ay, di ba, dalawang test of battery, isang 16 to 69 at meron din uh, 72, 90. So, meron siyang 12 primary at isang optional. Meron siyang 20 to 30 minutes na delayed um, subtests. Tapos, mas shorter siya compared sa 100 minutes na 65 to 80 minutes. Then, kung makikita natin, mas mataas din yung population niya, which is, uh, or sample, 1,400 yung ginamit niya for the norming and uh, for the uh, procedure for representative samples. Mas marami siya compared yung sa nakalipas na tests. Then, so dun sa factoral analytical studies, meron tayong... Uh, Ito, sa 1917, wala, not completed kasi nga hindi masyado na give attention ni Weschler nung una yung kanyang tinatawag na factor analysis. Next, yung sa one, may two factors na tayo, the memory, attention, and concentration. Tapos, nung revised, nagkain tatlo, merong learning and immediate recall of verbal and visual material, attention and concentration, orientation, ability to recall information from one's personal history. So, 
na-introduce yung delayed, uh, tinatawag natin delayed memory. Tapos sa uh, visual memory uh, scale 3, ito na, naging auditory memory, visual memory, tas working memory, yung short time memory. Then last one, yung pinakabago, the, um, three factors din, same lang nung three, auditory memory, visual memory, visual working memory, tas dinagdagan pa nila ng two factors, which is the auditory learning memory and the visual attention memory. Mas marami na siyang components na memory na, uh, na susukat, uh, mas maganda yung pagiging structured niya at yung kanyang scoring mechanics compared to sa mga past. Um, and if ever na interested kayo, ito yung kanyang uh, references. And yun na po ang aking report. Thank you very much.